Hello everyone, back tuning in to today's first video. We're going to have a look at the ECMWF Ensemble sets 30 days for um, today's uh, first video. So this is a regular feature on a Tuesday. Now we have a look at the uh, month ahead with the extended uh, ECMWF. This will take us into the early part of uh, July. It's coming to you via the Hungarian uh, Met Office website, so we've got the link to this on the uh, links page, of course, you can go and have a look at these charts yourself if you would like to do that. Uh, today's second video coming up this afternoon, that'll be on the homepage, and uh, with that one, we'll be looking in detail at the weather for the next week uh, to 10 days. Also going to give some shout-outs to uh, our latest donors and uh, patrons, so um, if you uh, place a little bit of money to us uh, over the past uh, day or so, uh, you will get uh, a mention in uh, today's second video update. So we'll just start off by having a look at uh, the coming week's temperature and precipitation anomaly. Now, unfortunately, with these charts, we can't show you the uh, the weather pattern, the pressure, uh, mean sea level pressure anomalies, or well, 500 bit of our high anomalies that are causing these temperature and precipitation uh, anomalies. Um, we can only show you temperature and precipitation, but you can get a rough idea, I think, of what the model is uh, predicting in terms of the broad overall pattern. So this is the week one uh, temperature anomaly. It's covering the period from the 11th through to the 17th of uh, of June. So the coming week looks like this with the temperature anomaly. Bit of an east-west split really across Europe in the week ahead. We've got warmer than average temperature anomalies over these uh, central and eastern parts of uh, Europe. Pretty much from uh, sort of eastern Germany. Uh, east was uh, significantly warmer than average there and also going up to many southern parts of Scandinavia as well down into the southeastern part of Mediterranean so kind of like um, Greece, Turkey those sort of areas coming out uh, substantially uh, warmer than average as well in the west it's cooler so for the UK and for Ireland we're coming out with close to average temperature anomalies uh, really Ireland is a little bit cooler than average Scotland is a around average and England and Wales has a mixture of slightly above uh, average or near normal temperature so not a particularly big deviation uh, in terms of temperature for the UK and Ireland but further south across France, Spain and Portugal uh, we're coming out cooler than average there and we're also coming out cooler than average again across northern parts of uh, Africa as well. Mediterranean also looking rather cool. So these Mediterranean islands like uh, the Balearic Islands, uh, Mallorca, Menorca, Ibiza, and also over towards Corsica and Sardinia, uh, those areas are coming out rather cooler than average as well. Precipitation anomalies for the uh, week ahead from the 11th through to the 17th of June uh, looking like that. So a bit of a mixed bag. Generally, again, it's still drier across northern parts of uh, Europe. Although it's only a little bit more unsettled in the far northwest. So parts of western Scotland down towards Northern Ireland, uh, also uh, southwestern parts of Norway coming out uh, a little bit wetter than average there but generally northern Europe still looks like it's coming out on the drier side and then central parts of Europe so like France into southern Germany and then down in towards uh, the Balkans that sort of area coming out uh, quite a lot wetter than average also wetter than average across southern Italy and into the central bowl of the Mediterranean Spain and Portugal though where it has been very wet recently is uh, it's actually going to be a little bit um, a little bit drier than average there in the weekend. So drying out a little bit across Spain and Portugal, the wettest anomalies through those central parts of Europe, and then fairly dry again up in the north. Uh, this is the week two temperature anomaly, taking us from the 18th through to 24th of uh, June. And uh, this one looks warmer for uh, western parts of Europe again. So uh, we've got warmer than average temperature anomalies covering much of northern and northeastern Europe. But you'll notice that uh, into the UK and Ireland, it's going warmer than average there Again, much of Germany coming out, warmer than average, Belgium, Holland, warmer than average, and those warmer than average temperature anomalies extending into northern and eastern parts of France. So let's say pretty much all of northern Europe is coming out 
uh, warmer than average there, northern and central parts of Europe. It's a little bit cooler across uh, Norway. Down across the southern parts of Europe, again, it looks like a cooler scene to, uh, down there. Uh, Portugal is a little bit warmer than average, but Spain only coming out close to average, and most of the Mediterranean over to Italy and then over the Adriatic into the southeast of Europe. It's generally coming out a little bit cooler than average as well there. So it still looks like it's the idea that we're probably extending in high pressure from the Atlantic into much of Europe, northern Europe. The jet stream is going off up there. I mean, down here we have relatively weak pressure, probably still producing. Uh, thunderstorms are most cooler than average uh, temperature anomalies. That's how the precipitation anomaly is looking in week two from the 18th to the 24th of June. Uh, again, so uh, a little bit wetter than average across western parts of Norway, but again, most parts of central and northern Europe, uh, UK and Ireland coming out drier, including that coming out drier than average. Not a big deviation, but still on the drier than average side. The wettest conditions, the wettest conditions looks like they're in southern parts of Europe, particularly also down to the southeast of Europe. So Italy over the Adriatic into the Balkans and then down towards Greece. Those areas look like uh, they are a little bit wetter than average. Not as wet as it has been across Spain, Portugal and North Africa, but still average rainfall. So we're not going into a particularly dry period uh, yet in the southwest of Europe. Close to average rainfall, but the wettest anomalies down in the southeast of Europe. Week 3 temperature anomalies uh, looking like that. This is taking us from the 25th of June through to the 1st of July. It remains a warm scene. The warm summer of 2018 continues across much of uh, Europe. Again, many, many places across central and northern parts of Europe are coming out uh, warmer than average. The northwest is a little bit closer to average there through parts of Sweden, Norway, and also down to Scotland and Northern Ireland and Republic of Ireland coming out a little bit closer to average there but generally a warm scene continues across the vast uh, majority of Europe. It also is also trying to warm up a little bit down through the Mediterranean as well although those areas remain uh, closer to average. And you notice like Corsica, Sardinia still coming out a bit on the cooler than average side uh, there so not particularly warming up in the med but certainly going closer to average compared to where we're starting off. Precipitation anomalies from the 25th of June through to the 1st of July uh, again coming out a bit drier than average for the UK and for Ireland also uh, much of uh, Central Europe now is coming out a little bit drier than average Again, the, the anomalies are weak to average are weakening. Um, that's probably because the further out we're extending, the weaker the scene is becoming. But the overall idea remains the same, that it looks like relatively warm and dry weather is continuing through much of Europe uh, through the rest of June. Down in the south, uh, uh, south of Europe, so again, Spain, Portugal, uh, France, Mediterranean... Those areas are coming out closer to average with the precipitation. So still the same broad idea is there really of the high pressure to be from the Atlantic reaching through the UK into central parts of Europe. The jet stream is to the north of that high pressure going up there. And then across southern Europe, pressure remains quite weak uh, with not necessarily low pressure, but lower pressure bringing risk of either showers or maybe thunderstorms to parts of uh, the Mediterranean in particular and also to Spain and Portugal as well. And then we finish up in week four, which is the second through to the 8th of July, so through the first week of July. We're looking like that. Uh, again, it remains a very warm scene really across many central parts of Europe. No big changes really for the majority of Europe. Those temperature anomalies are remaining warmer than average. It looks like it could be turning a little bit cooler in the northwest. So the UK is returning closer to average. It's a little bit above average parts of England and Wales, but certainly returning closer to average. Uh, you notice this area of cooler than average temperature anomalies out to the northwest of the British Isles, uh, perhaps heading a little bit uh, more towards us by the start of July. So, just generally, the northwest, so uh, sort of Norway down to Ireland and the United Kingdom, probably north uh, northwest parts of France, uh, close to average there with the temperature anomalies, warmer than average over here across the vast majority 
of Central, Northern and Eastern Europe. And then possibly turning a little bit warmer through parts of the Mediterranean. So eastern parts of Spain are coming out uh, a little bit more than average. These parts of the Mediterranean, the Mediterranean islands, uh, like Mallorca and Ibiza and Menorca, those islands look like they're turning a little bit warmer than average. So possibly the warmth is beginning to shift a little bit further down into southern Europe through the Mediterranean, perhaps by the time we get through to the start of uh uh, start of July, though you notice Portugal is still a bit cooler than average down there. Finally, precipitation in week four through this first week of July. Many places are reverting closer to average. We do still have a weak signal to be drier than average through this central swathe, but I think the implication is that very gradually the jet stream is starting to try and push a bit further southwards and bring more unsettled conditions down from the very far north of uh, Scandinavia and uh, uh, Norway, try to bring that southwards into more sort of central and northwestern parts of uh, Europe. Although, again, the signals are very weak, as they normally are with precipitation by the time you get through to week four. Through the Mediterranean, doesn't look like a particularly dry signal, I have to say. It's close to average, still a bit wetter than average, close to uh, Italy. Um, but overall, quite close to average with precipitation through the med, which of course in the middle of July is going to be fairly disappointing, I would have thought, because you'd expect it to be uh, probably quite dry by that point, although I suppose they are anomalies to uh, average. So um, overall a bit of a mixed bag, but it looks like uh, what we can take from this is that the uh, warm and dry conditions are likely to continue through much of June through, or through the remainder of June, uh, through many parts of Europe, so it remains a warm scene for Europe uh, in the uh, next two or three weeks. Get through to the start of July, possibly into it turning a little bit to cooler and more unsettled in more central uh, and western parts of Europe and northwestern parts of Europe, perhaps, but that's a very long way off. And um, the overall um, theme from uh, today's uh, 30 day update is that I think we can expect a lot of warm and dry weather through the remainder of July. Uh, we'll do it all over again uh, next week. If you enjoyed the video and found it interesting and informative, please uh, give us a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and keep checking back to uh, Gazza Beach. You can uh, donate if you'd like to give us a donation via our PayPal and Patreon links. Uh, and later on today, we're going to have a look at the weather for the next week to 10 days. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.